We love our strawberries. We are getting ready for the 14th annual Strawberry Festival. It's a big thing, and it's, it's for all ages, uh, whether you're single, you're married, you have lots of kids. It's so much fun to come out. I want to bring in storyteller Maureen Wartz right now. Now, Maureen, I have to say, in Fort Mill, South Carolina, it's funny. We just, strawberries in Fort Mill just kind of go together. They do go together, Alicia. So many people are getting ready to come here this weekend. And yeah, strawberries are a good reason to celebrate. But we learned that Fort Mill has a way of creating community all year long. Carving out the right place. It's so cool. Isn't always. It's still a long way from being done. <laughs> the easiest thing to do. They all have scales, so. I just want it to look as realistic as possible. Especially when it's hard to figure out who you are. For a long time, I never called myself an artist. I, I felt like I wasn't worthy or something. And exactly what you're looking for. I always wanted to fit in somewhere and do more and, you know, be a part of more. For Debbie Whitsett, once she picked Fort Mill 11 years ago. Paddling it, look how it starts smoothing in it. Everything started to make sense. I'm really happy about it. <laughs> she embraced her art and the town did too. Yeah, it is really cool. Every year for the last seven years, she's painted the South Carolina Strawberry Festival poster. Uh, I feel like I can make them blindfolded. <laughs> and sculpted countless strawberries. In the middle of looking for more, she found others wanting the same thing. And to hear them talk about this being their happy place, that really makes me happy too. Now she has her community of artists. I do love Fort Mill. I think I've found my place. And a home that is exactly what she was searching for. So Debbie created the strawberries for the 5K that were this past weekend. They looked amazing. There were those trophies there. And she even created tiny little strawberries that are going to be hidden around town for a seek and find, which is part of their 150-year celebration. And Alicia, people were walking by, were handing out T-shirts, and everybody was bringing up the Strawberry Festival. So yes, everyone is looking forward to this weekend.